spring days kind of plan out and he's got the pictures to, sh to go along with it too. Look at that. Where is that? Oh, well, we'll show you. Okay. This, is, this is Live Copter 3. We've got meteorologist Heather Waldman up there showing us one of the prettiest waterfalls in Northern California that isn't in Yosemite. Heather? Yeah, Mark, a hidden gem here just to the east of Lake Oroville. This is Feather Falls right up the middle fork of the Feather River. Just a stunning view. And of course, just like those uh, falls down in Yosemite, a, a benefit, another benefit of all of that snow and all that runoff that we're seeing here over the last few weeks. Uh, nice to see Lake Oroville looking nice and full, too. It's at 95% uh, of capacity. So, Mark, thanks for the tip sending us up this way. <laughs> yeah, it is It is a spectacular uh, waterfall. It just it looks terrific there from Live Copter 3. So let me show you how we're doing in the area right now. We currently have temperatures that are in a similar range to where we were yesterday. We have 67 degrees in Sacramento. The key is the southwesterly wind we have at 14 miles an hour. Currently in Stockton, we have mostly sunny skies 70 degrees right now with the wind out of the southwest at 13 miles an hour in Modesto sunny 71 right now with a northwesterly breeze at 9 in Fairfield that wind has been rather gusty today and it's still pretty strong southwesterly at 21 with a temperature now of 67 and in South Lake Tahoe just some fair weather clouds and 53 degrees with a breeze at six miles an hour just spectacular pictures from live copter three so let me show you the difference between yesterday and today and you can see the influence of that onshore breeze see these areas in blue this is where it's slightly cooler than yesterday well that onshore breeze we have had has been bringing in cooler air you get away from that Placerville is a little bit warmer South Lake Tahoe is a little bit warmer but from here temperatures will be heading up noticeably so skies will stay clear throughout the night tonight and over the next couple of days we also have a big high overhead and as the high does move overhead that breeze we have today will get shut down so tomorrow we have sunshine less wind warmer temperatures instead of being around 70 tomorrow we're around 80 and from there it, temperatures go up even more on friday we're up around 90 saturday we're into the 90s we are, however, still looking at a change for Sunday. This retrograding low comes close enough to us so that by on Sunday, we're likely going to see some afternoon showers and thunderstorms in the high Sierra, and we could see some of those again during the day on Monday. But it still looks as though none of that will be impacting the valley or the foothills for Mother's Day. So tomorrow in the Sierra skies will be mostly sunny. Winds will be light. Daytime highs will be in the upper 50s. Pollock Pines upper 60s. The foothills will drop down into the mid to upper 40s tonight. And then highs tomorrow will be in the 70s. 75 in Auburn, 74 degrees in Jackson. Look for a high of 80 in Fairfield. That's a big jump from today and a lot less wind. And for the valley, clear skies tonight, a comfortable evening. And then highs tomorrow near 80 and a high of 81 in Sacramento and 80 degrees in Roseville. We go to the upper 80s to near 90 on Friday will be in the 90s over the weekend. Mother's Day, a few clouds. The Sierra will see some showers, but nothing for the valley. We'll see slightly cooler weather early next week. Then we bounce back up into the 90s after that. Back to you. Thanks, Mark.